Well, it looks like this week we're going to be a little more normal on our temperatures after being well above. That gets everybody excited about their garden and you start doing stuff you really shouldn't be doing, like planting tomato plants. No, don't plant tomato plants. You think, well, why do, uh, why do some stores have tomato plants? Well, there are some people that like to pot things up and kind of get them growing, but if you put them in the ground, it's just going to sit there and shiver because the ground is colder than the air temperature. So no tomatoes until early May, you know, Mother's Day type of thing. But now is the time because I've been telling you, it's like, hey, too soon, too soon. Now is the time to get after the lawn. Step one should go down now. So usually you have a couple weeks to put it down. Whoa, broken bag there. Hmm, that'll be interesting. Might burn the lawn there. <laughs> Hopefully not. No, it won't. But here's what happens because it's time to put down uh, step one. And because people start to see weeds in their lawn, and I know some chickweed coming up in this lawn, people wanna put that down. It's too early. Stick with this one. If you haven't put that down, put down the crabgrass control and fertilizer. Don't put this down yet. If you're gonna use this product, it shouldn't go down until about the third week of May. So you say, but Pat, I see weeds. I don't see crabgrass. I get it, I get it. So get yourself a bottle of uh, liquid weed killer like this. And wherever you see that weed, just spray just that weed and you walk around and you kill. And actually I like it better anyways because then you're not putting weed killer on areas that don't need to have weed killer. So you're just going out and spot treating. So that's the key right there. Now, if you're using that step one, the other thing everybody wants to do is grass seed. Now this is an area that I killed last year and reseeded it. So. Everyone, grass seed, big thing in spring. So check out this. I thought, I, I just want to show you this because it's a battery operated spreader. Like you need something else battery operated in your life. Now, if I do that, if I just walk around and do that, I will get less than 1% germination. Not very good, is it? But it, you're having fun doing it. So if you want grass seed really to grow, it has to come in contact with the soil. So if you have an area, scratch that up. Overseeding a turf like this really doesn't do anything because fertilization will fill in those gaps. But if you have those spots or a big area, make sure you rough up the surface before you get out there with the battery operated spreader. Really cool, of course. Now, if you've already put you down your step one, you go, hey, I put mine down about six weeks ago. Well, what I might do, you can bet, get just the pre-emergent. This is no fertilizer, just the pre-emergent for crabgrass and spread it along the hot areas, right around here where the driveway is, where you get a lot of heat, and that seems to be where crabgrass will really start to germinate. So if you, if you did have a second application, spotting is not a bad idea. And the last thing that you should be doing right now, pre-emergent for your beds. This is Preen, there's other brands out there. And you just put a nice little barrier like that prevent weeds in your mulched areas. All right, a lot to do right now in the garden.